Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we finally have from Chica, Samson the Album. I've struggled with this review because I know I've got a responsibility to be careful with this review because this project's been on my schedule for months now. I've been listening to it off and on for about as long, and I genuinely want to be sensitive to Chica's mental health. As someone who struggles in this space, it cannot have been easy for her as a queer black woman from Alabama who has also seen tremendous industry hype. Multiple times she stated that due to her struggles with bipolar and the ugly nature of social media culture that she was going to retire from music. And yet, yeah, something felt really amiss when I remembered that her Double XL Freshman cover was in 2020, as was her Grammy nod for Best New Artist, and she last put out an EP in 2021, and yet we only got her full-length major label debut on Warner this year. It just didn't seem to capitalize on the momentum that she had or draw that much buzz. And having sat with the album for a while, I kind of get why, as we have yet another frustrating example of a tremendous talent just getting completely mismanaged by a major label that have a sound and a formula that might have made sense in the mid to late 2010s when the album's dropping in 2023. And what's exasperating is that you can recognize the budget and the talent on display. Her primary producer and collaborator is Derek Dixie, who is known for his connections to Beyonce and Chloe and Holly. And there's a lot of clean, polished opulence to Chica's sound. It's well balanced, it certainly sounds expensive, and everything except the drums and percussion, which feels perpetually underpowered, doesn't really support her all that well or provide much in the way of groove or organic texture. What it does do is create a very regal backdrop to Chica's bars or her sung hooks, of which she probably handles more than she should. She's a better rapper than she is a singer, and even then her intensity does not really pop in the way it could or should, and it just feels like an odd backdrop for a lot of the roots of her content. Chica has described her strength being rooted in vulnerability, which can also be a weakness when exploited, and that's kind of a wonky fit for production that wants to present her as so unassailable and imperial. I mean, I get the logic behind it. In terms of pure technical skills and rhyming and flow, Chica could fit in that lane, but the vulnerability of this album feels very thinly sketched and sanitized, yet it's omnipresent. More faux self-aware platitudes and a lot of distinctive personal detail. Then there's the attempts for a more rebellious fuck-the-industry framing, which is not helped by clapping at all the girls who rap about sex and then trying to be magnanimous about not doing it. And not only does this spotless production not fit with that attitude whatsoever, it's just increasingly unbelievable when you have Beyonce's producer, an interlude from Snoop Dogg, Stevie Wonder playing harmonica on the finals track, and an intro from Lin-Manuel Miranda. I mean, she says on Delilah that she's cosplayed as a rebel, and that would make sense in the album's thematic arc, where she's still on that journey to find and embrace love against the alienation of the industry, if all that didn't feel so tenuous and impersonal. And I could go on about some of the poop jokes, the extended runtime that's trying to sell gravitas but's got no real momentum with some really wonky sequencing, the whole Samson reference, which if you know the intricacies of that Bible story, they don't really match the tone or thematic arc of this album at all, especially the finale of the Samson story. But it starts making sense when you realize that Warner is, seems to be attempting to place a more interesting artist in the whole prefab, vaguely inspirational mainstream rap debut album box from six years ago. So it winds up feeling so bombastic, but kind of impersonal and oversold for a project that feels aggressively middle of the road. Now, that does not make this bad. The Freddie Gibbs feature makes all kinds of sense, opposite the watery swagger of Truth or Dare, probably my favorite moment on the album. The snarled swagger of Prodigy goes pretty hard. I dug the guitars and scratching on Plain Jane. And look, I can't complain about hearing Stevie Wonder's harmonica on Get Here. It's a pretty good conclusion. And you know, I don't want this to reflect on Chica as a rapper or a person. I personally don't think she's getting the right support or artistic development she needs. And that sort of executive mismanagement legit pisses me off, especially when they have the resources to do better. But as it is... Again, I think this album's okay. It's got its moments. I understand the appeal. It reminds me a little bit of moments of Little Sims's Sometimes I Might Be Introvert. For those who are interested in that, you'll probably enjoy it more. I just wish it stuck for me. That's all. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, and subscribe. 
I do feel a little uncomfortable putting together this review because again, there's a part of me that feels like it's punching down. Again, I wish that this connected more. I've sat with it for months. I, It's not. I don't blame Chica for this. I think she's a really strong technical MC. I wish there was more detail and flair, and I don't think the production does her any favors. I don't think the artistic direction that they're giving her makes sense. It feels dated, and again, that to me says executive mismanagement. Someone at Warner is screwing up, but again, let me know of your thoughts. Beyond that, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. If you want to argue with me more directly, and that's on my Discord, link to my Patreons right over there. And as always, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.